My name is C.S. Michael. You can call me Sean and I'm the author of How to Buy an Airstream, available exclusively on Amazon Kindle. In this video, we're going to discuss some key principles for you to keep in mind when you go shopping for an Airstream. Many of these tips will apply to any brand of RV. But since Airstreams are a little different, we've enlisted the help of vintage trailer restoration expert, Tim Heinz. So without further ado, let's get started. Airstreams are relatively rare. And if you restrict yourself to the purchase pool that's available in your immediate community, you're not gonna have much to choose from. I don't care where you live. So you have to approach this task as a nationwide search. Pretty much the norm. Um, I see it more and more people buying trailers cross country. Um, you can find some good deals sometimes on the other side of the country. And it's sometimes worth the money to pay to have one shipped here at a cheaper price that's in good shape than find one locally there's a few more trailers that are in better shape out west, but there's still some good finds here on the east coast. Um, I find some good ones quite often. When you think about it, Airstreams are designed to move. So if you find the right Airstream that's a thousand miles away, well guess what? It's going to be hitched up to a truck and somebody's going to tow it to your own community. When you consider a particular trailer for purchase, try to remove emotion from the process. Don't let your natural excitement about buying an Airstream overwhelm your good judgment. In fact, you really need to focus on the bad. I always go into a trailer, completely ignore the good things, because if it's a trailer you've, you're going to look at, you already know, you know the things you like about it. So when you go to see it in person, look for the bad things. Look for the, the structural damage, any water damage, any electrical wiring that might need to be worked. And if it helps, take something to write down all these things. And then before you make the decision, see how much of the bad you have on the list and see if it is overwhelming. Sometimes seeing it written down helps greatly than just thinking about it in your head, then moving on to the next thing. And you forget about it when it's time to make that decision on whether you want to purchase the trailer or not. You need to use third party tools when you're conducting your Airstream search. In addition to looking on eBay and Craigslist, you can go to other sites that will help you use those services more effectively. You can place your bid through the third party service, which ensures you don't get caught up in an emotional bidding war with other buyers. Now I explain these services in great detail in the book, but the point of using the third party is you don't let emotion rule the process because emotion will drive up price. If you remember the Cold War, you remember the old trust but verify slogan. It's very easy these days for sellers to Photoshop pictures and make the trailer look better than it really is. You need to make sure that that trailer is everything that is being described to you. There's a lot of questions you should ask when you buy a trailer, um, but you know, to be honest, there's a lot of sellers that won't be honest with you. So don't take a seller's word that if they're camp ready or if they're all in good condition. We see many trailers come through our shop where the, the buyers have been promised they're in good shape and you can see obvious signs of damage that the, the seller had to know about. Um, we've had trailers that have been flooded, I mean, extensively, not just a little bit of water, to major repairs that we've seen inside the walls that were not done correctly that you can tell the previous owner had done and it's just to not you know, let the new buyers know. If you're purchasing a vintage or used Airstream from a private party, you need to have someone look at it. Preferably, you need to look at it. Ideally, you could get an Airstream expert to look at it for you and conduct what is called a PPI, or pre-purchase inspection. Well, here at Heinz Designs, we're always you know, willing to help anybody out. If they have a trailer they're looking to purchase, um, if it's close by, we'll offer services of going to inspect a trailer. We'll take detailed pictures for you, send them to you, let you know our general consensus on the trailer. Um, if it's not real close to us, still feel free to you know, email us some photos and we can give you some opinions through photos of, of the trailer. Look for good bones. When I say look for good bones, I mean specifically the frame. You don't want rust. Usually the frames are pretty good. Um, they do have an underbelly on them, which does usually protect them over the years. Um, but they are easy to take the underbelly off to examine the frame. It, usually if you're going to have problems, it'll be the front A-frame, the part that's exposed on the front of the trailer. So check that real good and make sure there's no bad surface rust or, or holes through the frame. The aluminum, you don't want dents. 
Um, as far as the skin, usually if it's not too damaged, it don't have to be replaced, but if the skin will have to be replaced, a panel, it can be extensive work to get all the rivets out, re-rivet and replace the panels. And whether you find a good replacement panel or you have to repair the panel, it can be pretty costly. And the wood subfloor, you don't want rot. Yes, the flooring can be pretty extensive if, if you've got a lot of floor rot. Um, a lot of times it's easier just to remove the whole body off the frame of the trailer to be able to get the wood frame back underneath the walls. Um, a lot of Airstreams do sit on the wood frame or um, wood flooring. So if there is rot around the perimeter, then you're, you're better off in time and money to go ahead and lift the whole body of the trailer off the frame. Any of those problems can be a deal killer. With some of the vintage Airstreams, you have to be afraid of some of the wiring. Um, usually if it hadn't been tampered with, it's good because they're only taking 12 voltage through the wiring. But a lot of the trailers we see come through our shop, people have converted the wiring to run off 110 volt. And some of the trailers, especially in the 60s, have aluminum wiring, which can come beca uh, become brittle over time. So, but if you have wiring problems, most of the time it's gonna be right behind the light fixtures, electrical outlets. So it's areas that you can get to and examine and make sure there's no real issues. Very rarely do you see a lot of damage in the inner walls where you really can't get to. Now with regard to amenities inside the trailer, for example, the refrigerator, the stove, the oven, the condition of the fabrics and upholstery, all of that stuff is more easily fixed. We don't really consider those items the bones of the trailer. Um, usually Airstreams are pretty easy to work with. Um, the good thing about Airstreams, most of the interior components can be removed without having to tear the whole trailer apart, unlike some of the other um, wooden frame trailers. So there you have it, a number of principles for you to keep in mind when you go shopping for an Airstream. Buying an Airstream can be an exciting, even life-altering purchase. So it makes sense to take your time, make sure you know what you're doing, and get it right. Although we focused on the vintage and used market in this video, rest assured that the book contains strategies for buying new Airstreams as well. And there are plenty of quotes and interviews with additional Airstream experts. Special thanks to Tim Heinz of Heinz Designs for sharing his expertise in this video. If you found this video helpful, there's lots more advice where this came from in the book, How to Buy an Airstream by C.S. Michael. For a free sample of the book, check it out on Amazon. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe.